Hello, welcome to HowToGuru.club podcast created by Dan Greisenhout. Hello, and welcome to episode 33 of my podcast series, which I title Getting Your Website Righteous with Google. It had been quite a while since I had gone through some of the Google tutorials that I used to watch when I was first getting started with building an online business presence. So I decided to go back into these and nose around a bit and I was startled with what I found. Despite all my work recently trying to understand SEO, keyword searching, building backlinks, building more website content and doing a myriad of other things all in the name of building organic traffic, I found the traffic had not been growing like I thought it should be doing. So I decided to go back to basics and that meant taking another look at Google itself, which brought me back to some of their initial tutorials that I had watched. I quite literally stumbled upon their Google Console tool, which I hadn't looked at in close to a year. I found it by going to my browser and initiating the quote, site colon, and then your full site domain name colon, command, which is a quick method of looking at your own website's page names and descriptions with a view to improving on your text for them. I reacquainted myself with the Google Console tool and was totally startled to find just how much I had fallen off the wagon with respect to running a clean website as Google would view it. Google, by the way, is motivated by its advertisers to present quality websites to its consumers. So they are regularly surfing our sites and recording things that they notice, which we need to be fixing up to remain high in their search engine rankings. You may have great content, terrific SEO keywords and descriptions in place, lots of quality backlinks, etc. But if your site is not clean, they just won't be seeing you. The Google Console application, by the way, is found in the Webmaster Directory section of the Google website. You can also find it under the Google Tools selection if you are using Chrome as a browser. Before you can start using the tool, you will need to open it for the first time and copy the sbf-txt record link that they give you and then go to where you have registered your domain and paste into your .txt record line attached to your domain. Then you'll need to go back to the tool and verify your ownership of the domain, which is just a button click to complete this step. Once done, you will probably need to wait about 24 hours or so to give Google a chance to run its queries against your site so it can start recording for you within your console what your site errors are. So here's what I was startled to find out about and what needed to be repaired. First, I had 14 error 404s where links were still going to pages that did not exist any longer. I had several duplicate record description slash meta tag errors where I had copied old pages to create new pages and had not remembered to change the metadata on the new pages. Google does not like duplicate pages with the same metadata in place. There were several web pages where I had become lazy and had not filled out complete descriptions in the metadata area. There were a few pages where the meta tags did not match up with the page titles and descriptions. This again as a result of copying new pages from old ones and forgetting to update the meta tags or the descriptions on the titles. In any event, they were all out of sync. Google now places a big emphasis on your web pages being friendly to mobile devices in order for your site to be seen as being clean. This was a new requirement from when I had first started building this site, so a number of the pages that I had previously built were not responsive design compliant. 19 pages were like this, in fact. Now this is fixable. The first thing that you have to do is to ensure that every one of your pages contains a line of code in the meta tag area of its header information that configures your viewport. And that is how Google describes the error it gives you in the message. Viewport not configured. Search Google Help for viewport meta code and you can get to the instructions for inserting this code along with the code string itself. Font too small. I had four web pages with font set too small to work properly on mobile devices. Touch elements too close. There were several web pages that had buttons installed too closely to be easily and separately usable on a mobile device. They would overlap on that platform so they needed to be spaced further apart. Flash usage error. The site still had been using some old Adobe Flash Player scripts that had to be deleted in about a dozen places. Apparently Google does not like how the older Flash players work on mobile platforms. 
And I understand today that uh, JavaScript is also a problem on uh, mobile devices. These are issues that they would like you to resolve abandoning your old Flash players on your web pages in favor of the usage of newer technology. So bottom line here is that my website is in process of becoming fully righteous again with Google and I should get there in the next day or so and would hope to see the search results start to pick up again. All these months I have been regularly working on the site to improve it. I have also been sloppy at times or, and or just didn't realize that I was doing some things wrong and as a result was hurting my Google rankings. So word to the wise, get set up with Google Console and get your site righteous with them to see your viewing numbers go up again. And they will know you are working on these tasks and I suspect you will be rewarded accordingly as you fix these items. You can hit buttons within the console to say the item was fixed and you can retest pages for the mobile platform errors so you can see what you need to do page by page to get each one of these pages compliant. Once righteous, you can focus on your SEO again and really start to rack up the viewing numbers and the resultant sales. Bye for now. If you like the content that I'm creating, be sure to visit my website at howtoguru.club. That's H-O-W-T-O-G-U-R-U dot C-L-U-B. You can also sign up to receive my hints and tips newsletters and gift downloads at howtoguru.club slash signup.htm. HowToGuru.club is a free training site I've built to help people wanting to build or improve their home-based businesses. So be sure to take a look around the site and add my site to your list of favorites for future reference. New content is appearing there regularly. See you soon. Bye-bye.